Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Thoughts from the Round Table. Today, we have a little bit of a special for you guys. We are going to be talking about our experience in our first semesters-ish at college. Um, seeing how we left because of coronavirus. But we have really just a, a bunch of stories about, I think, one person in particular. Yeah, I think it's fair to say um, that there's a lot of, like, um, apprehension about, like, among, let's say, people kind of our age or a little bit younger. I know I had it of, like, going into college and getting yourself a random roommate, right? Like, me and Jacob went in together, but we got a third, a third roommate, and when I found out that we had a third roommate, I was fearful. As was I. I was like, what if he is a slob? What if, or an al- what if he's an alcoholic? Yeah, I think there's a lot of, a lot of nerve wracking situations that you can, that can run through your head. Like what if you don't click? Like you said, what if he's an alcoholic? What if, what if he's just a weirdo? You know, what if he doesn't respect us being weirdos and I think a fair few of those things came true <laughs> I think they did as well and I think those fears are well justified yeah I, I think you know a lot of people will see oh this is so nice of them they're telling people about college well that's partially true I would say most of it's just going to be funny stories because boy are there a lot of them yeah so without further ado Please join us at the round table. I think there's no better story to start off. Our friends, I don't know if I should call them a friend, our roommates, uh, personality, just with one story. I don't know. I don't know. He's a little bit ditzy to to just to, <laughs> to start out with. Um. This is the story of the lime knife. No, Jacob, before we get to the lime knife, okay? I think we have to preface it. I think we have to preface it with the very first experience we had with him. Oh, I I was jumping ahead. I forgot until you mentioned it that there is another story we should talk about. But I want this to be known, right? Your first impression with your roommate is very, very important. We didn't really get one. Because he didn't show up. And you might be thinking to yourself, what? He didn't, what do you mean he didn't show up? He he didn't show up. We moved in. And we slept the first night with no one in our room. (laughs) Yeah, we were supposed to move in on Saturday morning. There was a set time and day. You had to move in at this time. Don't really know why they did that. You probably could have showed up whenever you wanted and been fine. Yeah, but everyone in oh, that dorm I was, was there. supposed to be there. I was there on time. You know, Pierce and I were both there. We're unpacking our stuff. We're like, oh, maybe he's a little late. So a couple <laughs> few hours roll by. Our parents leave, and we're just hanging out there playing Mario Kart. And, uh, you know, still doesn't show up. <laughs> a few more hours go by. You know, pretty sure we're watching a movie or something. He still isn't there. I I think we're both kind of thinking of ideas of what are we going to do with this spare bed? Yeah, I remember like looking over at you and I was just like, well, is he is he not coming? Yeah, I was I was like, man, my life is perfect. We got a suite. Yeah, we got and our roommate. Yeah, our roommate who we were scared about isn't showing up. My first idea was, how are we going to make money off this? <laughs> I think that's pretty pretty easy of why I thought of that, because I love money. My idea was, we start a poker table in there. We move the bed, we get a big poker table and have poker nights on Fridays. And as the house, we'll be taking a percentage. We don't even play. Sometimes we're not even there. We're just there to make cash. Our other, My other idea was to Airbnb the bed out. I don't know if that's illegal. I don't know. It Probably is. Illegal. But look, 
you're not going to get a better price than what we would be offering. You're downtown. You just need a bed. You just need a place to lay your head. It's like a hostel, but we charge $20. I think those are, would both be better uses than what, what ended up happening. Yeah. I think it was the next day. We uh, we definitely got dinner. It was definitely after dinner. I think we were just walking around to see where our classes were. And we get an Instagram direct message. And he's like, hey, where are you guys? And we were both like, what? Where are you? <laughs> yeah, because we, we had, I think we forgot to say this. We didn't hear anything from him. We've talked before, right? Yeah. We've talked a little bit about each other, da 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 da. You know, your normal roommate stuff. But the whole day, nothing. 24 hours, no contact. He could have been dead. We didn't know. <laughs> Until we walk back in the room, and there he is. That was our, our first, the first time we laid eyes upon him. He was yeah, just kind of like sitting at his desk. Was his, um, was his family his, still moving him in? Yeah, his cousin was there. Her, yeah, his cousin was there. They, she left like he, real quick afterwards. Yeah, she kind of introduced herself, and then was like, all right, see ya. And, you know, it was fine. First night was awkward. I offered him to play Mario Kart. He played two games and then played on his phone. He didn't really want to, like, have anything to do with us. We asked him um, why he didn't show up to move in. And he was like, bro, I just said I didn't really want to show up that day. So I just said it was a family emergency. <laughs> Yeah, which happens a lot, ironically. It will be very important later in the podcast, his family emergencies that happen from time to time. Yeah. But I think, you know, a few days later is when our next story happens. Personally, one of my favorite stories that just went throughout the year, just every time I saw it made me chuckle. That's the lime knife. So I think I should I should probably take this story because it it directly, Absolutely. it directly affected me. I was laying on my bed, right? And I hear the door open and and lo and behold our roommate walks in. And he has a small knife. Like a small green knife. It's got a white blade and <laughs> <laughs> he, he comes up to me. And he's like, bro, check out my knife. <laughs> and I'm like, is that like, can you, can you do that? Because our dorm room is like super strict on things that you can have. And this was like, well, what was this? Was this even a week into it? I if for, that. I was not prepared to break rules yet. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, can you have that? And he's like, he like looked at me like with a, with a look of just kind of disgust. He's like, bro, this is not for you. I am not gonna stab you with this. It's for the limes. <laughs> what? What do you mean? It, he he wanted to cut limes, and now you might be thinking, oh, was he was he hungry? Did he want to eat the limes? No. He just wanted to cut them. Put a lime down. Cut that thing right in half. Leave it sit. I think a half of a lime sat on our um, kitchenette for probably a month. I'd say it might be over. Yeah. And I didn't want to touch it because, like, <laughs> is, it, is, it some sort of, is it some sort of ritual? <laughs> is he trying <laughs> to, like, do blood magic? Yeah. I... Not really any purpose that I ever found out for the lime or the knife. All I know is that it was very odd, right? The oddest part, I think, about it was the fact that he wanted to make sure I knew that he wasn't going to stab me. 
to be honest, I was not, when I saw him come in with the tiny little kitchen knife, that was not a thought that went through my head. That he was going to take it and shank me. But that, yeah. But he was very insistent that he was not going to kill me. And that made me think that he might want to kill me. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I I just, before we head on to our next story, when we were moving out, I was second to move out. Pierce was first. The lime knife was there when I left. You should have grabbed it. I should have. And I was going to get it in one of those big box frames with the glass and bring it to our next apartment just as a way to remember him. Because he made it very clear that he will never visit. After. Yeah. <laughs> I just have one one quick story before, before we move on to the next one. This one's just going to take a few seconds. Yeah. He had a fake cactus. <laughs> on his desk. <laughs> I forgot and about the cactus. <laughs> this, I think this might have been the first day we moved in. He just had a cactus there, and uh, his <laughs> lamp, obviously. And he put the put the light of the lamp on the cactus. He was like, "Oh, it needs it to grow." <laughs> and we were like, "Isn't it fake?" He's like, "Yeah." <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh so hard when it happened but it just keeps getting funnier it's just the way he did it and he's like he just turns on his lamp looks at us for the cactus <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah i uh i just confused by that one um an another story that i think one of my favorites just because i remember it and this was also, I'm trying to put them in chronological order. It were bound there are many of it. them. Yeah. But this one I know was toward the beginning of the year. Tower Dining <laughs> at Indiana University, Purdue University of Indianapolis is one of the worst places I've ever eaten. Oh, it's good, dude. It's not. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. But... They do have onion rings. Oh my gosh, I totally blanked on this one. And our friend, our roommate, let's start right there. Our roommate went down one day to get some lunch. And he came back up but 20 minutes later, and he said, Bro, like, Tower Dining is pretty good, but their onion rings are whack. And we were like, What? And he's like, they have onions in them. And we're like, correct. <laughs> he's like, that's stupid. Why do you put onions in them? We're like, why do you think they're called onion rings? And he was like, oh, I just thought it was because of the shape. And that was the end of that story. And you might, I, you might be thinking to yourself, there's no way this that that was a real conversation. Or that he was being genuine, but I promise he, he was being 100%. Yeah, I, I didn't even question it just because of how sincere he sounded. And he didn't get onion like, rings the rest of the year because he kept being like, he's like, I've never had an onion ring with an onion in it and I just can't get used to it. Yeah, like what do you expect? Have you ever ate an onion ring? <laughs> I don't. I just didn't get it. The The next story. Well, I have a couple. I'll let you give a couple of your favorites. Because I know there are a few more that I have that are just gold mines. Yeah. So I want to, I gotta, I gotta got, let you guys know a little something. Is that we're barely scratching the surface. Because really he wasn't all that much of it like at least at first he wasn't really the most social person but like everything he said was gold you know what i mean it was just like just the one-off moments would just crack me up and looking back at it it's just like this person there's no way he was real but i think a key thing we're gonna have to get into is that you know when people say oh i got short-term memory loss well, he, like, legitimately does. I don't know. Yeah. If that's, is that a medical condition, like a real medical condition? 
I don't know, but if it is, he has it. He should be diagnosed with it yesterday. Somebody needs to take him to the doctor because he legit can't remember anything. And I mean anything. Like, (laughs) there's been times when he will ask me something. I remember one time specifically I was going home for the weekend, right? Because we don't live too far away. We live like an hour away from our campus. So I was going to go home. I think I was just hungry or something. And he was like, bro, you got any plans this weekend? This is Sunday morning at like, or not Sunday. This is like Friday morning at like eight. And I'm like, no. I mean, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go home this weekend. And he's like, oh, okay. Then like 20 minutes later, he's like, bro, you want to hang out later today? And I was like, no, I'm going home. And he's like, oh, oh. And then, like, we sit for another 30 minutes. And he's like, hey, hey, man. So I think you might be alone here this weekend because I'm going to go home. And I'm like, dog, I have, I'm also going to go home. It This went on for so long. I think there was six times in, like, a two-hour period remarkable it was just truly remarkable yeah i remember you calling me on your way walking to your car and saying this story and me cracking up it it to this day his ability to forget (laughs) is so fascinating to me because it's not like that was just one occasion. You're like, oh, you're saying that was short-term memory loss on one occasion? No, it was over and over again. Almost every day. Hey, he could not hey, remember. What you, yeah, he'd be like, hey, what are you doing tonight? Probably working on homework. And, you know, I get done with class at 4.15, come back. Hey, you got any plans for tonight? <laughs> yeah, I already freaking told you I was working on homework. <laughs> or he'd be like, bro, what'd you get on this thing on in business management? And I was like... One, I'm not in that class. That class doesn't exist. <laughs> Two, you're not in that class. Because <laughs> he's he could not he he could never remember my like his own schedule. He would always like there's so many times where he'd miss class because he forgot he had class that day, which is just remarkable. There's not that many yeah. classes in the day. I think this is a perfect lead into one story specifically, which might be my favorite. So it was the night of the Star Wars Episode Nine premiere. I remember it vividly as if it was last year. We were on our way to go. You know, we, 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 we love Star Wars. You know that. You paid attention to the, halfway to the channel. You can see we love Star Wars. So, you know... We come back, we're talking, it's probably, what, 2 in the morning? Oh, yeah. I think that's... Easily. I, I, th- Easily I think it's around there. Maybe later. Because, you know, we still have to walk back. So we walk into the dorm. All the lights are on. We're like, what the hell? Is he up? <laughs> and he was. And he says... We were like, hey, how's it going? He's like, how was your movie? Um, pretty good, you know? We enjoyed it. And he's like, bro, I have not had a good night. <laughs> we're like, what? And he says... I forgot to take a final. And we're like, what? And he he's like, I don't know, dog. Like, I thought it was tomorrow, but it's today. And we're like, what? So you, you fail it? And he's like, I don't know. I, I emailed the professor, but he hasn't emailed me back. And we're like, oh. He's like, yeah, like, I'll fail the class if I don't get to retake it. Maybe he'll let you retake it for half credit or something. Bro, I hope. And so, you know, the next day goes by. And he's like, I emailed him and said I had a family emergency that day. So, like, he said I can retake it. And we were like, what? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I just lied and said someone was sick. And we're like, and you're just cool with that. He's like. Yeah, why? <laughs> like, do you not see the the moral problem with lying? He's like, nah. And we're like, okay. And, and so nah. he took the final. 
he took the final and passed the class. And I, I just am shocked that he was able to. Yeah. Still to this day. That's a perfect lead in to my favorite story of all time. So he took that final, right? He passed that class. And I guess he did pretty good on that final. And as you know, you know, finals happen and then there's a break. You know, there's a big winter break. And then you come back after winter break. And we were back. And he was there. And I don't think Jacob was in the room for this because I'm pretty sure I had to tell you about this. You did have to tell me about this because... If I would have been in there, man, it would have been the greatest moment of of our roommate's history with us. He looks at me, dead in the eyes, and he's like, bro, I got this email. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah? He's like, <laughs> dude, this dude named Dean put me on a list. <laughs> it's like, did he put you on a list? And in my head, my folk, you know, my, my brain was firing. I was like, there's no way that this is real. It's almost like when you look at him, you can see like, like his brain is made of like ancient gears and if they're slowly like rusting and turning and she's trying to figure out like basic things. And I'm like, this man cannot mean the Dean's list. I feel like every time he would talk. It was like the meme from The Hangover with Zach Galifianakis. Like, even if it was something so simple, you think, you just have to make the words come out of your mouth to make sense. Every time, it was like the the meme where all the mathematic equations are spinning around. (laughs) You're so right. You're so right. You can see it working. Like, his, his eyes will, like, shift, and he's thinking real hard about how to, like, say, like, a basic sentence. But he's like, he's like, oh, you mean like, so like Dean wasn't there. It's the Dean's list. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's like if you have a certain GPA and he's like, what does that even mean? What's that even worth? And I'm like, I don't know. It's pretty, it's pretty impressive that you got on it. Good for you. And he was like, wish they'd give me a medal or something. Wait, I could actually look at it. <laughs> get the clout he was obsessed with clout he wanted the clout and dude that's there's there was, no problem with wanting the clout there was no way for him to show off his making of dean's list and so he wanted a medal and so i come back in the room and he's like bro did pierce tell you i was like first of all i haven't seen pierce all day so no but what and he's like i made this dean's list or whatever it's like oh my goodness that's awesome and he's like "Mm." (laughs) my cousin said it's not really worth anything i said no it looks great on resumes and like employers will want to know that he's like i don't know i just wish i got something i could hold (laughs) i was like what what and he's like i don't know i just want like a medal or something or like a paper it's like oh that's interesting And that was the end of the conversation. He was so on about that medal, though. He talked to me about wanting a medal for so much longer. I think, like, you know when you, did you ever play, like, peewee soccer? Yeah. And they would give you those medals? Yeah, he wanted a participation trophy. He wanted it so badly. Yeah. I think um, him repeating stuff is a common theme throughout Also, you know, one other theme is not really remembering where he is or who is in the room, which I got a little snippet of a story here. Emma, my girlfriend, would come over to the dorm sometimes. And, you know, we were all cool about it. No one really cared, I I hope. But, you know, we're all guys. And I think we've all done this as we were all guys living together where we would pee with the door open. I don't think it was that uncommon for any of us to do it. You know, I, I certainly did it. But uh, he would do it when Emma was there. And Emma, we were sitting in my bed one time, and she looked at me, and she was like, is he peeing with the door open? 
And I laughed out loud because he was. And it was certainly awkward afterwards. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't really know how to take what to take away from that story other than it was just a complete disregard for anyone else at all times. Yeah, no. And he definitely, he definitely like forgot where he was a lot or who was there. Uh, there's been multiple times when our friend Ethan would be in the dorm and he would just like kind of like go to sleep. One time Ethan came in the dorm. They talked. He went to sleep. He woke up again. And he was like, bro, who is that? Like, to me. <laughs> and Ethan was there. And I was like, Ethan? And he was like, oh, bro, I am zonked. <laughs> <laughs> I think him waking up and saying things, like his his shenanigans while he's asleep were some of the best because... He's, he was a sleep talker, and he did it often. And when you live, you know, when you sleep that close to each other, you're obviously going to notice each other's quirks when you're sleeping. And he would not sleep until 3 in the morning, if not later. Yeah. And then if he had to get up early for class, he would. But then around 4, he would usually take his daily nap. <laughs> and uh, I think his daily naps were funnier than when he was actually sleeping because he would just say random things sometimes. Cause one time he was taking his nap. I don't think Pierce was in there, but he, he halfway stood up and said, bro, I don't do that. <laughs> and then he just sat, he just laid back down and I said, what? No response. Did you say something? No response. And he wakes up, and I'm like, did you know you said, bro, I did not do that to me. He's like, oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another sleep story is one that I was not in the room. But it has to do with someone coming into our room. I think, Pierce, you have to tell this one. This is a perfect example of everything we've been talking about so far. So there was – I was coming back from class one day, and – like we said earlier, I think we barely touched on it. We got the large room. So basically, you one lucky group gets the suite room. Because the way our dorm is set up, it's like it's an old hotel. So there's like one room that's a suite and then the rest that are just the normal rooms. And we got the suite room, which was awesome. It was a ton of space. But it attracted a little bit of attention, you know, from the other people on the floor. One of these such people was a woman. I don't know her name. She was standing outside of my dorm room door as I was coming back from my accounting class. And I was walking and I was like, um, excuse me, because I wanted to, you know, get into my dorm. I wanted to go to my room. And she was like, can I come into your room? And I was like, that's so weird. Who are you? I mean, I didn't say that out loud, but that's like, I'm thinking, but, and I would have probably said no, but she was live streaming. Like she had her phone out and she was recording me. And at that point I felt a little bit of pressure. I was like, Oh, what if this person's like famous or something? So I was like, yeah, you can come in my room. You can, you can come right in. And so she walks in, she wants to tour the room. And she goes in and she's like looking around and is like asleep on the bed when we walk in. But, but I think the smell of woman enticed him <laughs> to wake from his slumber. And he like legitimately jerked out of bed. He's like, Ugh. <laughs> he, had, he, had, he had no shirt on <laughs> and he sees the girl. And he's, he, like, registers that he just jerked. And so he, like, slyly puts his hand o back on his head and lays back down. He's like, sup? Name's <laughs> And I'm, like, losing it. And she's just looking at him. He's like, hi. 
and I like continue. I go and sit down, and she's still live streaming all of this. And at this point, he's he's putting on the moves, right? <laughs> he's putting on the little the little smooth talking. He's like, so you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Um. And she, then she, he like stops talking for a little bit and she comes to me and she's like, you guys are really wasting your space right here. And I was like, what? She's like, you get this big room and you don't even put a couch in here. You don't even have a cot in here. And I was like, well, I mean, we don't really need one. They're kind of expensive. And she's like, $80. And I'm like, this woman, did she just call me poor? on live stream i was like that's kind of rude but but that was music to d- ears because because of course you know money is an attractive thing to this man he didn't know how to spend it or keep it but he wanted it and so i think that's really what inspired him to do what he did next and he's like where you where you live in <laughs> she's like oh i'm just in a i'm in a room like down the hall all my roommates left me and they're in a different room now and he's like must get lonely <laughs> and she's, <laughs> she's like yeah sometimes and i think at this point in his brain he thought he could really pull the smoothest move of the century i'm here thinking he's gonna be <laughs> like well i can keep you company i was like dang that could be kind of smooth but no, he's got five brains and they're all, <laughs> they're all firing simultaneously. He's like, no, she'll expect it. <laughs> I got to go. So it's something unexpected. He's like, oh, well, we can trade. <laughs> oh my gosh. She what a big, him. what a big brain move. She looks at him with like fear in her eyes. <laughs> excuse me what like you know you come in here sleep in this bed I go in your room sleep in yours these boys can keep you company <laughs> and she's like I'm a pass and walks out and then as soon as the door closes he looks at me and he's like bro she's not even cute and then he goes right back to bed <laughs> I think uh that story is just perfect. I think the next story we really need to tell is the side story of our roommate and his women, his harem, you could say. <laughs> there were many that he talked through, talked to throughout our year or so of living there. You know, most of them we never heard the names of. But uh, there were certainly a couple, and I remember one night, it was just him and I. I think Pierce was gone for whatever reason, but I I asked him, or he was like, bro, should I go hang out with this girl? I was like, yeah, why not? You know, I didn't want him there. I just wanted to be by myself. <laughs> and he's like, mm, I don't know. What am I going to tell the other girls? And I said, what? He's like, yeah. I was like, how many females are you talking to? He's like, I don't know, five, six. It's like, oh my gosh. Do they know about each other? He's like, of course not. (laughs) And I was just like, all righty then. And that was the end of that conversation. I, I don't know how to describe his, he has a, a fascination with with women including two females that Pierce mentioned once or twice and uh really was a mainstay throughout the year for him to say two words yeah and let's i'm i'm not going to get into the specifics right now okay i don't want i will i'll get into one i will not mention the other's name but the one Smart. That's, that's most prominent 
is a, a little friend we like to call Madalini. <laughs> so, backstory here. Me and Jacob went to the same high school. And at this high school, there was another girl. And she was not in our grade. I barely spoke to her. I think I maybe said like four words. She was a couple years ahead of us. Not at all in our similar friend group. And so I, I had a vague idea of who she was. But she was in my business administration class. And she Canvas messaged me. And that's basically just an email if you guys don't use Canvas. But it's just like an email. And she was like, hey, I recognize you. Um, I don't have any friends in this class. Would you want to like sit together and work on group projects together? And I remember her being like a good worker. And so I was like, yeah, sure. And I told Jacob, I was like, hey, you know, so-and-so, um, her name was Maggie. Maggie just um, sent me a, an email. Ta- and I was like, and Jacob was like, oh, that's cool. And just like, was like, or I'm sorry. And our roommate was just like, oh, <laughs> who <laughs> are you talking to someone, Pierce? <laughs> no. <laughs> he was like, bro. Sounds like she's into you. I was like, no. And then, and then that was the end of that conversation. And then the next day he's like, yo, how's Madalini? (laughs) I was like, excuse me, what? (laughs) And he was like, you know, Madalini, the girl you're into. (laughs) I was like, there there are so many things wrong with what you just said. (laughs) Number one, how in the world did you misconstrue that name? And he's like, what? That's what you said yesterday. You said, hey, Jacob, Madalini just (laughs) just emailed me. It's like, no, that's not at all what I said. And I told him, I was like, her name's Maggie. He's like, Madalini? (laughs) Maggie. Bro, what? And so this went on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And And every day, every day until the day we left, the day we were forced to leave our dorms, I heard about her. I heard about Madalini. She never got the name right. Never. I think, I think deep down he even knew what her name was. He just refused. He did a lot of just little stuff, I think, because he thought it was funny, you know. But I think a lot of those stories, there are so many stories that we could talk about with with our roommate that all of them are stupid. Yeah, but I think we don't want to spoil all these stories for you right here. Also, because we would be sitting here for another five hours. So, if you guys enjoyed yeah. this type of like content, this story content, if you want to hear more about our adventures in college, our adventures with our roommate, or just other stories from our life, let us know because this was pretty fun. I enjoyed this one. Yeah, I, I really did enjoy this one. I think not only do we have a lot of stories about our roommate, I think we have a lot of stories from college in general and that are like before college and now. I think we we have a lot of stories that we could tell that would be pretty funny to tell. Yeah, so if you guys want to, like Pierce said, if you want to see more stuff like this, we both enjoy it, I think. Yeah. Just let us know. Um, leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Follow our Discord or join our Discord. Talk to us. Maybe we'll reveal a little bit of stories in private. Yeah, maybe there'll be certain stories you have to go to the Discord to hear about. Who knows? Who knows? Follow our Instagram follow our twitter do both of those things please we like followers on them we do do it and with that i guess we'll see you guys in the next episode yeah thanks a ton for listening bye